And later on, we have that butterfly garden that's been so very popular and is now limited. That will be coming up in a second. We have all, Court, as you know, seen butterfly bushes and love butterfly <coughs> bushes. They grow fast. They, they attract beautiful butterflies. Like none other. Yes, but for the very first time, these were actually bred to be in containers yes. and you're getting two of them. It'll be ivory and raspberry and an ivory and lavender. Can I say it that way? Yeah, it's, it's uh, two containers with two plants. See, so you're getting two pots, but four plants. But four plants. But four okay. plants. And this Got could it. be your favorite plant ever like it is mine. The two in one Buzz Series Butterfly Bush. Wow. Because they're the first ever patio size butterfly bush for small spaces, containers, or the middle of your garden bed. Three to three and a half feet tall, not eight, nine, 12 so feet tall. So very compact and not so leggy. And no other flower pat wow. will attract all the different butterflies to this plant. They are nectar rich, sweet smelling, full of flowers. Butterflies are attracted to masses of flowers. They don't want to fly here, fly there. You know, they'd rather okay, have a buffet. A right. So these are covered with flowers. They're the perfect size, uh, like a landing strip for the butterflies to fall, uh, Love to, shape, to yeah. land on. And the colors you're getting uh, <clears throat> in each container, uh, you're gonna get the ivory, which is coming up here. This is Buzz Ivory. And then that will Look be paired. Flowers. Look at all of them. All nectar That's rich. Crazy. Yes, and just the perfect size flower for the butterfly to get its itty bitty tongue in and, and drink up all that nectar. And that's the buzz raspberry. So those two are paired together okay. in one container. They're lovely blooming, interwoven. And then you're also going to get the ivory, the buzz ivory paired with the sky blue. So you're getting four plants. Oh, look at those colors. Yeah, look. So for a you're long getting season. four plants, yeah. two pots on these. Is this a perennial? It is. It comes back every single year, oh, Jane. Wow, they already look. Look at it. They're blooming right mm -hmm. out of the box. These are eager and ready to go. They've had their first season of cold weather. It's called vernalization. That's a little something that extra us. that we did for you. It okay. gets them to grow faster and bloom more vigorously for you the very first year. So all you're going to do, Pat, okay. is pull these out of the How pot. How large is that pot? Uh, the pot that I'm going to put it mm -hmm. into right now is about 16 inches. Is that what you would recommend? I would recommend a 16 inch pot okay. if you like. And um, I recommend planting them in the ground in the front of your yard, places okay. where you never could uh, So they plant could them go before. in a container, but they also could go in the ground. You don't Absolutely. have to worry. Absolutely. Mass plantings in the ground are the the best thing for these plants because you're really going to help the butterfly population of all kinds. Water that in good. Okay. Use your Roberta's yes. bounty. And then I have my little emojis here. Okay. Do they need a lot of water? No. Actually, if it rains that week, you're good to go. Okay. If it doesn't, then you can go out and give it a drink. They like hot, full sun, and they're going to attract all your pollinators, both the hummingbirds, the butterflies, and the little bumblebees. The, look how compact. Yes, this is so this important. Is. This Think is. Think about the butterfly bushes that you see, or maybe you've work. even had in your backyard, that are generally taller than me, and mine have always been very leggy. I look gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Two. Yeah full-grown containers. How old are these? These are the first season. The first season? The very wow. first season. And they're gonna be blooming for you for a good long time. I love the movement in the garden. I not only from the butterflies, but the wind that comes and they brush against this. But this is like a circus of butterflies. Can you hit, open mm -hmm. up that butterfly okay. guide? Because I love these as a build to ship to. And then send them, not that one, I'm sorry, the uh -huh. butterfly guide. Oh, the butterfly guide, I'm sorry. Send this uh -huh. along, pick up a little butterfly guide, and look at all the butterflies that you can yeah, potentially identify. Not only do you get the monarchs on here, you're gonna get so many other types. 400 of you have already reserved yours. You're getting two plants. Well, actually, you're getting four plants, two yes. pots, if you wanna think about it that way. But you could, this is two plants, this is two plants. You're right. Um, in the first year, we need sun, 
we need to water it maybe once a week. Once you don't a have week. to over water it, even though it's in a container. And you can also put these in the ground. And year after year, they continue to get stronger and better. And no matter where I live, Court, it doesn't matter? No, it doesn't matter. They'll take temperatures down to minus 30 degrees and they'll go all the way down to Orlando. But these are low maintenance low yeah. growing now you're talking butterfly yeah. bushes low wow. maintenance low growing they attract those butterflies the things that also add the excitement and the wonder and the mystery to your garden i mean look at how many flowers there are on each one of those yeah so spikes are just filled with flowers and they're fragrant june through october nectar rich long flower spikes they bloom from new growth every year. So if you like a tidy garden in the winter, you can cut them back. Okay. They stay short. You do want to feed them and they're going to bloom so fast because all of their energy is going into producing flowers, not into growing 12 into feet growing. tall like okay. a tree. Makes sense. Yeah. Only quantities of the season. That's what we have here. So we have a question from Marla. Stephanie, you've got young eyes. Can you read it? I can. <laughs> can I leave these in the pot all year, Uncle Ford? Ah. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. You okay, can leave them in question. the pot all year long. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. They grow from new wood. That means if you want a tidy look in the wintertime, you can cut them back at the end of the fall and, and they'll come back up every year. Marla, I wanted to come out. We have this beautiful vase and I wanted to, I'm kind of the cut flower queen of the family. I will have flowers <laughs> in my house any day of the week. And to have these butterfly bush flowers, I mean, the fragrance is sweet like honey. It, you close your eyes and I am almost confused with honey sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's so sweet, that nectar fragrance and the three colors together. It's a beautiful combination. So just imagine going out to your own bushes and cutting them and bring them, bringing them inside. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. 1,000 of you have already dialed in. I always tell the story of my shepherd. Um, when she was young, the mm -hmm. first year, I had a traditional tall one. Yeah. I looked out one day and it was totally gone. That's how sweet it was. She ate the whole thing. Oh, that's hilarious. She was fine. She ate the whole, but that just is a testament yeah. to how sweet these are to um, our friends, our four-legged friends and the ones with wings too. M61770. At the end of the show, I have another very important uh, butterfly plant, the Asclepia. Yeah. Um, so, and mm -hmm. Stephanie will be happy to okay. tell Give you about that one. Give us all the details. Yeah.